Welcome back, everyone. This is Zaid. We are back in our vanilla survival world down in the hole again, as always. Uh, a couple quick updates down here. I want to point out at the beginning of the last episode, I mentioned that we were having problems with the villagers getting stuck, and so we put in these pillars over the water sources to replace the lily pads because they were having pathing issues. And you can see, if you look in there, there's lots of growing crops. Same thing with our potato farm upstairs. These pillars seem to be working beautifully. He's got a little fuller up here. They still do. There seems to be something with the snapshot. You can see he's actually doing it right now. Every now and then they'll just stop and stare at the ground. But unlike the pathing issue, when this happens, they just it's like they just go to sleep for a bit. They just work too hard and they have to take a nap, but then they start going again. So if I AFK for a few hours, after a few minutes, he's going to start working again and everything's cool. But if if he's stuck on the lily pad that we used to have, he would just sit there for hours and hours and hours. So the production of our farm has greatly increased. Uh, if we come down here, I actually had to expand this. So now the unsorted area, I never put slabs up there, hmm. is six chests instead of three because I was AFKing and these were filling up. I just emptied this. This is probably like maybe an hour. So it's running pretty well. Got a lot more storage over here for everything. Filled that up. Most of those chests are full. Been doing some trading. Got a bunch of emeralds. I was going to use the emeralds to decorate our retaining wall, which we're going to go check out right now. But I decided it was a little too bright, and I swapped them out for some redstone lamps instead. So we'll take a look at that. Is there anything else I need to do down here? Hmm. I don't think so. I think I, think I haven't really done anything. I, my iron farm filled up, and I had to do that. So it's just been kind of running in the background, and I haven't really been doing anything with iron. So we're pretty stocked up there. And more than enough red dye if I ever need red dye for anything I'll probably start destroying those as soon as I have a full double chest of them let's go ahead and just go up here and check out our wall and while I come up here I'll mention uh, this episode probably gonna be a little shorter than normal I've been pretty busy this week if you haven't seen on my channel I have a new series I was invited to be a guest on the Hypermine modded server this season. So I've got another series coming out there. And work this week has been pretty crazy. So since this video is a little late, I'm just going to do a quick little update one and we'll do a little more next time. But here is our retaining wall. I had some comments after I asked from a couple episodes ago. And one was from Life with Teens and other wild things. It's a very long name, but effective. Uh, she tweeted me a couple of pictures. I won't post them on the video because I don't know how copyrighted they are. But one of them had just kind of one of those brick layers where it was like a row of bricks and then grass and some trees and stuff. And then it would go back. So that's kind of what we've got going on here. I need to come up with a fence. I'm not sure if I want to put iron bars just because they'd blend in really well. Maybe some birch. I could create a fence too. I'm not sure. I don't want it to be too tall or too intrusive, but just a little something along here. I'll have to figure out a, a fence idea. If you have any comments of what you think would look good here, let me know. I'm thinking I'm probably just going to kind of bone mill this grass, get some long grass in, some flowers. I don't know that they're really wide enough that I want to put trees in. So probably just some grass and flowers, stuff like that. And then up top we have some terraforming to do. I've done a little bit already, but as we get to these higher layers, we don't need the wall the whole way. So what I'm doing, I just kind of went with this slant, and then we're going to terraform the dirt to go kind of up into it to match that. I think it looks pretty good. I put the redstone lamps in here. I was going to put an emerald right there and torches right here, but I felt like the emeralds were a little too bright and the torches, I didn't like them sticking out 
So I went ahead, swapped them for these redstone lamps. These actually completely light this platform in front of it enough to not have mob spawns. I think I might want to try swapping them out for sea lanterns once we get a guardian farm up and running. See how that works? I have not been working on that, though I mentioned a few episodes ago that I was building a tunnel over to the guardian farm and all that kind of stuff because I wanted to get that going. I haven't been working on it since then because, for those of you that don't know, a number of snapshots ago, minecarts are broken, as are horses. And basically what happens is if you try to travel more than a few chunks, it stops loading the world and everything kind of just disappears into the void and you have to log out of the game and log back in and it'll fix it and you can go a little farther and then you have to do it again. So until they get that fixed, and it's a bigger bug so they haven't gotten it to it yet, it's on their list, but until it's done, it's a long ways over to that guardian farm and without the minecart it's kind of a pain. I guess I could start setting up the nether for a minecart, you know, even just running in the nether wouldn't be nearly as bad, so that's a, that's a possibility we can do soon. And I actually want to get into the nether next, because the reason I've only done this much on the retaining wall is digging all this out takes a long time, and we've already dug out the mountain that, you know, this went like all the way through here, and we've dug out that mountain, and that mountain, and... Uh, I dug the giant hole in the ground a lot, and we've just been doing digging and digging and digging, and it takes a long time. So I've decided the next thing we're going to do is start working in the nether for probably, I think to begin with, we'll just do some basic spawning pads. Let's just, let's just run in here. Hopefully there's not a creeper. I've had some uh, mob troubles in the past. Is it safe? I'm getting hit by fire. I am randomly on fire. That happened last time. I think this is a snapshot glitch. Uh, you come through the nether portals into the nether and randomly light on fire. I think it's glitching me somewhere else. Lighting me on fire and then putting me back where I'm supposed to go. I don't know if it's like dropping me into the lava pool or what. I came in recently. I don't know if I've showed this on camera. I replaced this platform with cobble just because it's... Uh, one thin netherrack above a lava pool. So I wanted that to be a little safer. But the next thing we're going to do, probably starting in the next episode, is work a little bit on this nether fortress right here. Uh, what I want to do is find just a couple areas. At some point in time it will be great to have some kind of an actual wither farm. But those require a lot of work, because you've got to do a lot of clearing, you've got to find all the caves, either tear out all the netherrack and everything, or you've got to cover tons of stuff with half slabs or lava or things. That's going to be a big project down the road. But for now, I want to get some areas, maybe find the best points. I know there's at least one nice crossroads in here where we can just start a, sort of start setting up See, there's one right here. I don't know if there's a double. There's a blaze spawner there. Skinny one there. Mm. I haven't really explored it. There's the weird stuff here. That one's covered. It might only have a single thing. So it might just be that crossroads right there. Actually, I could use this lava room depending on what's next to it. But I just want to set up some uh, increased spawn areas so that we can get more wither spawns. I'm going to go out this way because a bunch of blades just spawned over there. I want to get more wither spawns so that we can get some wither skulls going. This sword that I'm holding here, let me get away from these blazes a little more, is from a villager, sharpness 2, looting 1. So we can buy a few of those, combine them together, and get a looting 3 sword. And then we will start farming withers because I want to get a beacon so that I can get haste to going in our base for all the digging we're doing. Not to mention if we come in here and start actually digging out for a wither farm or anything in the nether, uh, even just the tunnels to some degree, we will want haste too in here as well. So I think that's, that's where we're going to go next, is into the nether, start uh, expanding those platforms, 
Oh, I, I, I've talked about this on camera, but I haven't actually shown it. Yeah, move my move my portal two blocks, and now instead of coming out where I came off, I come out all the way over here. My base is right there, and the portal's on the other side, so I, I don't know what that's about, but yeah. Watch me dodge these skeletons. Oh, he got me. Oh, I can't touch this. Ow. I'm just going to jump for the water then. La -di -da. I was going to try to make the jump, but my health was low enough. I didn't want him to kill me. Right, hide around the corner. Anyway, that's, uh, I think, going to do it for today. I've got uh, a few days off. Hopefully, I'll have some more time for this. Let me know what you guys think of the wall. If there's any changes we should make to it, any updates, any little tweaks we can do, what you think for a fence along the top of it, things like that. And, yeah, I think uh, I think we'll call it here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my modded Minecraft series on the Hypermind modded server as well. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.